Well, buying a new home is a major investment, especially during a global pandemic. But according to our next guest, millennials are buying their first homes more than ever. For more on why and what trends she's seeing is real estate expert at your happy realtor, Monique Johnson. And she's joining us from Toronto. Good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. How are you? I am doing great. I am fascinated to know what trends you're seeing. You've been working with many millennial clients this year. Why are they looking to buy their first home now? What's the appeal of this pandemic season? Well, we are seeing a, a surge of, of young people who are looking to get into the market right now. There's a few things at play. Um, the first thing is that the mindset. Uh, millennials are already subscribed to the mindset that, you know, they're looking for financial independence um, and they want to create wealth in a safe uh, way. And they're seeing real estate as the way to do that. Um, and, you know, they're, they're motivated than ever right now. You would think that 2020 might be a scary time for people to buy a home. You know, we know employment is precarious, but you say it is a good time for first time buyers. Why is that? Well, there's a few things at play because we have significantly reduced interest rates, which, which has presented the opportunity for young people to be able to get into the market. You know, if, if we're looking at, you know, what people are paying in rent, we have, uh, I have clients that are paying $2,500 to $3,000 a month to live in their swanky 500 square foot uh, <laughs> condo downtown. Um, and because of the, the rates are so low right now, they're seeing that they can afford a mortgage. So the mindset is kind of shifting a bit. Um, that in combination with working from home culture that all of us are subject to during this unique time, um, coupled with the fact that we have that undercurrent of a mindset that, you know, we are trying to create wealth in the most independent way possible. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect storm right now. So we know that lending rates are, or interest rates are low. So how are millennials affording these huge purchases aside from just borrowing from banks? Great question. So we've been criticized, <laughs> and I'm speaking as a millennial, as the generation that wastes their money on avocado toast and lattes. <laughs> um, but we have to give ourselves a little bit more credit. Uh, millennials are well read. We are very smart, um, and we have access to information. Uh, given that, you know, we're, we're looking for opportunities to downsize our lifestyle so that we can boost our savings. Mm -hmm. A lot of my clients have done that, living with parents, um, to offset their living costs. They're finding other like-minded people to partner with uh, to purchase properties. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's proving to be successful for some people. What are your clients looking for, Monique, in their first homes, and has it changed over the years? Yes. So what we're seeing now is that there's a, a, a migration from the city centers, uh, and they're looking to go to suburbia uh, or rural areas, mm -hmm. um, which has also spiked prices. Um, but my clientele in, in, in particular, they're looking for homes that they can rent out uh, a portion of it while they're working and playing in the other unit. Hmm. So they're looking, they're, they're being more smart in the types of home that they're purchasing, uh, which is working for their advantage right now. So because, you know. I was going to say, they're looking to live in their tiny condo, but they want to buy an investment property. Yes, but they want to live on the top, for example, and then they rent out the basement. Yeah. So they're thinking, they're thinking ahead. We're in uncertain times. They don't know if their jobs are secure a year from now. So they want to make sure that, you know, should they lose their job, at least there'll be some kind of income coming into the household that will help offset their costs. So they're becoming smarter about the types of homes that they're purchasing as well. Hmm. You know, every day we have conversations on this show about how the pandemic is changing things and, and uh, yeah. shifting how we have our normal patterns. And it's fascinating to see how it's playing out in real estate. Monique, thanks so much. Yeah. You're very welcome. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.